How are you guys? Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is up? I like what I see so far. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. So tell me, I mean, Fresh Prince of Bel Air was a show that I grew up loving, as I'm sure you guys did too. It was a staple in my house, especially living on the East Coast and having family from Philly. So when I heard about this reboot, I was a little scared. We're in an age of reboots and they do not all perform like how they're supposed to. But you guys are successful. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, thank yes, you. yes, 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 yes. Shout out to y'all for that. Um, I wanted to know initially, you know, when you were thinking about auditioning for these parts or even thinking about coming on with this project, tell me about how you dealt with the pressure of filling such great shoes. Cause I mean, there it, it's it's unmatched. That show is just unmatched in the characters and the relationships. Tell me a little bit about the pressure. How did you guys deal with that? Because that's some some pretty big shoes to fill, I must say. I think I think that when <laughs> I think that when you first start, you see Fresh Prince reboot. Right. You go, oh my God. Ah my God. Right. 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 Oh, and no. so then that's where the pressure comes. <laughs> even if you still audition or whatever, you're like, okay, I'm just trying to fill these shoes. I think yeah. the best part about this is that. And Jimmy says this all the time, like if you somehow haven't seen the Fresh Prince, somehow you don't need to see the Fresh Prince. You know, if you do, of course, it's a, you know, you can see all the nods and everything, but this is still just a story all about how. But just a story, you know, and I think that's that's the beautiful part about it. So when it comes to the pressure and now we're talking about shooting it and acting it and, you know, seeing the script, it's not like we're on set, like, uh, I got to hone in. Jeffrey, I got to hone in jazz. I got to tap into what Hillary was like. Right. No, it's, it's so different. Um, you know, the, the, I think the physical, not the physicality, maybe yeah, for me, but, but like, but mm -hmm. like, you know, just the, for jazz, it's the wardrobe and the show, all that is, is still the same, and, but the way he interacts with Will is definitely different. So, um, okay. the pressure is a little, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use that word. Basically, I would say okay. it's just a blessing and an opportunity to fill these shoes for real. Okay. How about you guys? Yeah. I, yeah. I would say like we, it's a compliment to the writers, to the creative team, to the cast, to just really relax into this process because I mean, like you're right on paper at first, you're like, uh Oh, I'm not trying to touch that because yeah. of what it means. <laughs> Me. Yeah. But after we got the script and we meet the creators and we see what they're doing and we see the uh, the barbers working on it, the hair, Roxy, Lindsay, you know, having moments where we really get to see black people live their truth. And it's like, yeah. yes, this is this makes me exhale into the work. And also okay. that it's a reimagining. We don't. It's so great because some things you see like a side by side comparison and this one you have the original in your heart because it lives in you but you get to experience a whole new world that's with nice. us hmm. okay that's awesome yeah um, i was just echo what they said for me there was no pressure it was just excitement and i feel honored and proud to be part of a reimagining i think the reason i didn't feel the pressure because the only way you could do this story is as a drama mm -hmm. so yeah. that's where the okay. genius of Morgan Cooper coming through you know it's just like Ryan Coogler having to repitch Stallone his story to him but to tell that story now it has to be a black heavyweight so to tell the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air it has to be a drama so we can delve deeper into the social issues around the world within our community and uh, I think people are going to enjoy the ride. Yes I couldn't agree more and then just to wrap you guys actually brought me into my next question I feel like this show especially being you know released during Black History Month super timely and um yeah. when i spoke to morgan and jabari they were just like this film encompasses such different aspects of black culture and being black in america i mean from the hood of west philly to the glamour that's in in los angeles and everything in between was that something when you guys signed on that you, you realized that because you guys are basically like you said reimagining it and telling the Fresh Prince of Bel Air story in 2022. So that comes with its own set of problems, issues, especially things that we go through in the black culture. You guys just really encompassed, encompassed all that within the show. And that's what I love best about it. Is that something you guys would agree with? 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In another interview, Rashid, one of our showrunners, he said, you know, because we have such um, genius Black creators working in every facet, the director, as the writer, as, yes. um, you know, actors, we all get to put our own experience into yeah. this. It's not <clears throat> like we're it's it's like oh how would we it's like no I've I've been through this like yeah. Lisa has you know in a navigating her black female self in a white world where mm -hmm. she doesn't really fit in but she's supposed to mm -hmm. and so it's one of those things where you get to just be and be authentically so you don't really have to try too yeah, hard it's yeah. it's the it's the magic and work of the show yeah and the um, authenticity of it and like you said you, you say uh, black American culture but it's also black British culture is part mm -hmm. of that as well yeah. and so awesome. We've got a lot of people in our hair and makeup, Roxy and Tiari, that worked on Harder They Fall. And if you look mm -hmm. at uh, Jay-Z and, uh, and James, you know, you've got a, a Brit and American coming together to make something great with yeah. you just leading it. And then I think, you know, that's different. That's about us collaborating. It's not about us being the, the, the divided as people. Mm -hmm. We're one community. Yeah. Yes. And actually, this is showing that as well. Like, so when you look at Uncle Phil and Jeffrey, for me, it is like Jay-Z and James and Harder They Fall coming together mm -hmm. and he's showing yeah. that, look, you know, That's it's right. not getting caught up in the Daniel Kaluuya and Samuel Jackson chat. It's like, there's so much for us to do together to, to yes. push storytelling in the US and in the UK. And so I feel like Jeffrey's definitely representing that, even as a Black Brit that lives in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yes. Don't, yes. You, don't you just love hearing him talk? Don't you just love? <laughs> oh, <laughs> when you speak, I, just, I, I, I lose it. I'm like, man, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> Stop Stop it. It. <laughs> thank you jimmy listen you guys are so right i should say black diaspora and not black culture black diaspora that's i'm gonna use that thank you because i'm yes, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's deep that's a show we need to work yes. on that yeah you know yes. <laughs> Thank you guys Thank you. so much for your time. That, that's my time now. I love what you guys are doing. Can't wait to see what you do next. So keep it up. And Thank Black you. Diaspora, let's go. Thank you for giving that word because it sums it up. So important. Thank you.